Hey y'all, hey. So this is another yeah, another program that I'm asking you all to give a try to see if it will help you. You know, I try a lot of different free programs that may help you, especially if you're a beginner. Now, I used to use this a long time ago, but I had forgotten all about it until Simone mentioned that she used it. So, I was trying to do this setup for the dirty rag so you could get an all over print so I could show you how to set it up on the computer and then the program so you could get the all over print and I was trying to do it in Inkscape but listen Inkscape is not your friend it's not my friend at least I know somebody in the group mentioned that they love Inkscape I hate it that is the devil made that so I will not be <laughs> it's just too much for me I, I just I really hate it throws me off even when I go in and just look at it it just I instantly get attitude so I'm gonna try to stay away from Inkscape as much as possible so here we are in GIMP and so that you have to download this this is a download it is free I think it's GIMP.com or whatever but this is a download and it's free and if you want to um set up to do the all over print if you have like i have i have a printer that prints eight and a half by 14. that's as large as i'm going to get so i will have to split the image if i want it to be bigger and you know if i want to make make a t-shirt or whatever i'll have to split the image to make it bigger to be able to go on that size um, shirt or for in this case for the washcloths they're 11 by 11 and the, even though this is eight and a half by 11 it will not it probably give you eight and a quarter by 10 and three quarters it will not give you a full um, bleed it will not do that i have not found a, if it does i haven't found a way to make it do the full bleed even eight and a half by 14 I, I just it won't do it'll still give me that a quarter that quarter inch all the way around margin so here we are in here giving it our best so this is just like any other program when you first open it up you'll op click open to go find your own image that you want to bring into this program once you get in here you this is the selector tool or as a move tool to make sure you're on um, the, the image or the layer you want to work with this is a selector tool or rectangle select tool as they call it so you'll want to use the rectangle select tool and you want to click, click out here in the gray somewhere so you can drag click and drag across the image you can go um, don't do dead center do a little bit beyond center you want more than you need and make sure you drag the selector past the image as well so we're beyond the um, middle of the image and what we're going to do here is hit copy and then we're going to hit file then we're going to hit new and here you want to make sure that your work if you're working with the um sub paper or or the copy paper you want to make sure you have eight and a half by 14 uh, eight and a half by 14 sheet of paper so you will need to make this new image um in 8.25 and we're gonna go 13.75 and see the paper is 8.5 by 14 so we're just taking a quarter inch just so if you want to if you want to um do it the full eight it, it don't matter because the printer is going to take it anyway so i'm just setting it up like that it's just a habit it's just a setup habit that's we work with numbers designers so either way you're going to make sure you have to make sure this is done because you can't just um, copy this and put it on a new document and just leave it um, not have any margins above it because it will print small. Okay. You can't have it 12 by 12 because it will print a real small um, piece. 
and you'll waste the sheet of paper. So 8.25 by 13.75 and click OK. Now we're going to click edit again again and hit um, I say I put copy. So let me go back. Go back over here. Edit. Copy. Go back over here. Edit. Paste. Now you see this image is eight and a half by um thirteen. No, well, it's not eight and a half. It's eight point two five by thirteen point seven five. Okay, that's it for that. Come back over here. Click in the gray. Go beyond. And you you know you stopped here the last time, so you want to go a little bit past that this time. And you want to hit copy. So again, did we go up? Because I have Paul had to pause the video. So edit, copy, file, new, and you want to do the same thing here. 8.25, 13.75. Okay. Edit, paste. Now, when you, from here, you want to print. Hit, hit print. And you're going to make sure it's on the printer you want to use. And Go ahead and hit preferences in here you want to make sure you're on plain paper if you're not on plain paper and you use specialty paper photo paper or whatever other paper your printer gloss all that if you use any of that it's going to give you too much ink and too much saturation in your paper so your images will come out dull and look crazy so don't don't do that just leave it on plain paper then hit advance if you have advanced features especially if you have the e eco tank um 2720 or one that a printer that does not allow you to do um bleach so in here you want to make sure you it's probably already on letter or whatever it is um on if you want to print larger you'll have to go down and hit legal once you do that then you're all set and then you just hit print and then once that runs, I've already got it printed. So once that runs, you come over here and you want to do the same thing. Hit uh, file, hit print. And just, just a habit, you want to make sure you hit preferences, paper quality, and then just make sure it's still on legal. Now, now you will want to change that off of legal when you get ready to do something regular or smaller. So you don't waste paper or you know mess your print up because if it's still on legal it's going to slide your image way down and if you're just printing eight and a half by eleven it's going to be just messed up so anyway once you hit print this will print out like so and then you will have your um, pieces and then i'll come back with the video to show you what those pieces look like and what you can do next starting or stopping on the paper and I take my exacto knife and sure your image lines up perfectly remember we had that overlap so you have plenty plenty of space to get it lined up 
you'll make sure these pieces here you see my finger your pieces here will line up perfectly just like that and you can take heat tape or you could take your masking tape down here to make sure your image does not shift like mine did. Mine shifted a little bump the table. shift it. Make sure you don't do that. Sometimes it's tricky. You get it? streaky guys you got to work with it that's why I hate I hate having to do it this way I said I'll be searching for me a new printer soon will shift once you get that situated then I don't know about you but I like to pre-press my um, cloth so I can get it real flat so I would pre-press it and then let it cool and then I would put while it was cool, I would put it over where I want this image to be. And then I would heat tape it down. And then I would put it on the press. Let me get it. I've already done it. I hope this helps guys. Thanks for watching.